was Bisping was being pressured, you know, after the GSP thing didn't work, he was being pressured to fight one of these guys, Yoel Romero. But now that Robert Whitaker uh, he was so devastating against Jacare, it's like you can't not say he doesn't deserve a shot. Why did I just say it like that? He deserves a shot too. So you have him and Romero, and now Bisping will just have to deal with one of these guys, one of these animals. Bisping's lucky he's sitting out right now. Let one of these guys take care of each other, and he just got one to worry about. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking Robert Whitaker. Uh, me too. I think that the longer it goes, the uh, Whitaker's never shown a problem with fatigue, no. as far as I can recall. I never recall him that being a problem for him. But you can't say the same for Romero with That's that right. whole sitting on the stool thing and. He gets gassed and he and he and he kind of sits back and he times his explosions, you know. Even though he does time his explosion, he's still exploding. You know what I mean? So yep. and that does take energy. And over the course of a five round fight, you know, we've seen him gassing in, in, in three rounds. And 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 I don't see Whitaker being there for these shots because I don't think Whitaker is gonna be looking to put him down. And I think you, he's gonna be looking to sharpshoot him. You know his last loss? Who? Whitaker's last loss. I think it was Wonder Boy. You're right. Good memory. You like me? Yes, I do. That was, I was going to say you like that, but I go, you like me? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what the like that really means. Um, <laughs> Did anybody hear that in the background? Yeah, we just, Why are you we, laughing, Lou? We just clapped hands. I don't it was just, I just, <laughs> but It was very organic. Yes, it was. It was. He's coming off uh, TKOs of two fucking killers, too. Um, Jacare and yeah. Derek Brunson. Oh, yeah. The Whitaker Brunson. is coming off uh, of just two murderers who he, uh, he TKO'd. So he's really... He's a, on a seven-fight winning streak. Yeah. yeah. He's beaten uh, 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 Rafael Natal, Uriah Hall, uh, Brad Tavares, Clint Hester, uh, Mike Rhodes, and then he had two losses in a row, Court McGee and Stephen Thompson. But that Mo was, was a decision. But, McGee's was a decision. But that was both at 170, welterweight. You are Court correct. McGee also was at welterweight. Correct? And you are correct. He's, he's, he's at... When's the last time he lost that middleweight? Huh? Hmm. Anybody? I don't know what he fought. Uh, Anybody? Jesse Juarez. What? Jesse Juarez. That's who he lost to? Well, I don't know if he's a middleweight or, or a welterweight. Oh. Hoon was Kim? that, though? What? what? Hoon Kim? Is that a loss? All right. Well, this is ages ago. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't shit on his parade. I'm not. You're asking me when's the last welterweight loss, uh, the last middleweight. I'm like, I don't know. Did he ever fight a middleweight before? Or did he just go up to middleweight? <laughs> nah, he's been middleweight. Then he tried, I think, going back down the, the welterweight. I think so. And then he went back to middleweight where he's tearing shit up. Dude, coming off those two those two wins. Because Yoel Romero is always scary. Confidence has to be high, man. Yeah, but he's, he's got to be completely confident. You know what's scary? Jock Ray taking you down and ripping your fucking shoulder off. Yes, it is. He just did that to Tim Boach. Yes, he did. And then he goes in there with Robert Whitaker, who looks like a smaller guy than Tim Boach. The Barbarian, yeah. mind you, his nickname. And Robert Whitaker says, not up in here. Yeah. Not up in here. That's what he... He didn't literally say that, but... Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. What? I'm talking to his fist did. Dude. <laughs> did you catch that on the mic? I'm sure I did. Did anybody hear that? That was a little. I'm sure. Jim, I'm sure. I swear you were eating a lot of green stuff in here and you're looking so happy. Jimmy just literally, literally, it's like he had a whoopee <coughs> cushion. I don't want to gross everybody out at home, but I swear, Jimmy, I. I get excited I, I when I really, talk about the I fights. I really hope it doesn't hit me because when it, it hits won't. me, when it hits me. And now, so far, so good. I'm just now. I can't even caution on the show, Jimmy. I know you're too busy hoping. Uh, no, to get I'm some. hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't. He it doesn't some. hit me because I get like I get sick. I might get sick on air. You know, great. That by the way, we we're supposed to hear from Whitaker six minutes ago. Don't worry about it. They, they might, it again, <coughs> with us at least the, the July Fourth holiday shut down a lot of stuff here. So maybe some of the communications got mixed up. Who knows? Well, I'm glad you didn't point your, in my direction. Why so far, so far, not, not, I'm not feeling anything. I'm not smelling anything. I am very much looking forward to that fight, though. Uh, him and Yoel Romero fighting for the interim belt. Um, now, that's Saturday night, correct? Yes. Listen, what about the Friday night fights? So why don't we talk about the Friday night fights? Jimmy? I have so many papers here. Hold on. I know. Hold Let's on. Look at that. There was. There was uh, when did? Uh, when, by the way, when did Alistair Overeem fight uh, Stipe Miocic? I want to say that that was September 2016. It was. It was September 10th. Okay. So they literally just. I mean, a year and a half ago they fought. I guess they've each had a couple of fights since then, but I, I'm not hungry to see that fight necessarily. I think there's a couple other ones I'd like to see. Yeah, man, dude. Let's see what goes on with Francis. I want to see. Um, Francis, I would rather see. Yeah. I would rather see Cain Velasquez fight. Stipe Miocic. I would rather see Nganu fight Stipe Miocic. Yeah? Yes. I of course. Was, dude, what's going to happen this weekend with Michael 
Johnson versus Justin. Gasigechi, I don't know. I'm not Gucci. as familiar with him as I am with I was just Michael Johnson. That. He's undefeated, but again, that's that doesn't mean anything because you, you know you don't you never lose until you lose. I mean, it's so well, yeah, and and he was you could say fighting at a lower level, lower level and guys, was, but uh, he was destroying them. He was destroying them, but he definitely looks really impressive. You know what I mean? But my and I'll I'll tell you, Michael Johnson. What a what a he's the he they, he's getting he's getting greeted with Michael Johnson to the UFC. Yep. Michael Johnson's greeting him to the UFC. That's a that, I mean look, you're not going to find an easy first fight. Sure, but that's definitely that's you could definitely get an easier fight. <laughs> well, Lewis, I think Michael Johnson's very tough. He beat a lot of good guys. Lewis uh, Gomez, who was in for you the other day, made a good point. Yeah. So Michael he, Johnson become kind of a gatekeeper for the division, like making you have to go through this guy. Yeah, if you if you want to get you know, it's a tough gatekeeper. Very tough. I mean, when you think about the guys he's beaten, he's beaten some world beaters, a uh, Michael Johnson, and he had some slip ups. You yeah. know, but even in those, he fights, was a wonderful. Well, you, you you weren't here when he called, right? You fucking, are you serious? This was last I week. I fucked up that interview. You know I did. Now you make Oh my God, I forgot. Again. No, I wasn't sure there was a Lewis or not. Both, me and Matt both have shit memories. But uh, yes, you're right. You, can, you we, asked can we remind the fans why I suck? You uh, you don't suck. Well, you just this made is what I, a I, sweet boy's well, mistake. I tried to make him feel good. About a fight. Because I do yeah. like him. And I go, you know why you're mentally tough? Yes. <laughs> it wasn't exactly this way. Yes. I go, you're mentally, you've shown that you can come back from that loss like you had to Khabib. And you show that you can come back and knock out Dustin Poirier. That's right. Who he did knock out. Yes, he but did. But there's an important... But the the, the the but means a lot here. What's the but? The, the <laughs> But he did knock out. Yes, he did. Dustin, Dustin Poirier, Poirier, which is no easy you know, feat. Right after that uh, tough loss to Khabib, which meant that his men mental toughness no, was no, really the, tough. No, no, no. The problem is this, though. No, no, no. You, were, you said he was mentally tough because he lost to Khabib and then came back. Yes. And you were right. I don't know. I would that's have been right toughness. if that, but I know what I was wrong about. What the order of that? Oh, that's right. Yes, thank you, everybody. Where's the? Uh, hey, where's the thing there? Thank you. That's what should have been right away. So I was wrong about the order. Did I? Yes, yes, thank you, Jimmy. One day I'm gonna be able to control those things, and it'll be more smooth. I know. I know. I know. Am I a hack with those things? No. Want me to get rid of it? Not at all. It's fun. If I it's love them. Rightly. I, should, right. I keep saying I'm gonna bring a computer, but I don't. What do you do with the computer? Just look up stuff. It'd be easier. Everyone on the radio looks up the... They all have computers. That's why guys who do broadcasts and podcasts sound so smart. They have information in front of them. Yeah. We just have papers. I never look at computers. I should. Who's looking at a fucking computer, though? A lot of people. Luis Gomez had his with him. Did he? Yes. He Cheater. He does. Cheater. No, you just pop it up. Wait, well, who was here? When Luis J. Gomez was Okay. I, 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 I thought you just said Luis Gomez. I did. I, I forget. So the how did he gets upset if you don't say the J? Yeah. He says there's probably a lot of Luis Gomez's. He's right. He's probably and right. And there's a lot of Luis J. Gomez's too. <laughs> Jacques Ray's picking Romero to win that fight. <laughs> what? Um, Is he? Yeah. Wow. Jockey, he's picking. Well, maybe he's a pistol. Maybe he's uh He's sticking to the Brazilians. I don't know. Um, well, no, Romero's Cuban. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, he's. I think he's from Cuba, correct? Is he hanging out with all Brazilians? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's right. Not bad, Lou. Can you check? I not believe bad, he's Cuban. Lou. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I believe he's hey, Cuban. <laughs> How was your 4th of July, by the way? What you was, think, what you I had a party on the 3rd. I had co-workers over from the radio show. It's the first time I've had more than two oh. people in my house. And how was that? It was a, a smashing like, success. Do you feel like you have to be a host? Have, I loved it. Do you have anybody helping? Like a, a helper? I, I had two, uh, an intern and one of the other guy that is like a, a, a lower level producer helped us. And what do you say? Like, yo, get, I paid get, them. Get some, like, get some, get some of the uh, sandwiches. Yeah, she, she did a coffee run. They, they helped me get the ice. They helped me get a few things the hour before the party started. Yeah. It was very fun. It was nice. Yeah. It was at your at your place. Yeah. It was. It was. A, Did you have chairs was, outside? We were all outside. I, I bought. I, I bought. Seen a, I seen something on Instagram. Oh, you saw the I chairs? Think I liked it. I think I liked. I it. bought camping chairs and I threw them out as soon as the party was over. Yeah. Fifteen bucks a piece. Why? Disposable. Dirty, Where am I going to keep dirty, them? Dirty people. No, I got nowhere to keep those chairs. I know. Fifteen bucks a piece. Did you have some music playing? Yes. How do you decide what music to play? Yeah, we tried a couple different stations. Well, you got to calm down with your Black Sabbath. Everybody's not going to be. I didn't that. play that. I'm sorry. I would have. What did you? What did you? It was like one of the, it was on Sirius XM. It was one of these stations with like that has kind of like you know upbeat dance stuff. Yeah. I think that's people want. It's just background music. Yeah. Oh, one of our guys, Anthony, his mother made a pound cake. Yeah. What a lump of shit this thing was. Really? Oh my! I'll show you a picture of it. We've been, we've been tweeting Why? it. Why? Who made that? Uh, his mother did. Does he like it? 
he had to know it was a hunk of garbage. Why? Is it, how did it taste? Shitty. What's the matter with his mother? Why can't he just go to, <laughs> can't he go to Tortoni's? Look at that. What do I look at? It's a pound cake. Really? Yeah, look at how fucking burned it is. 